Mind Over Matter, The Key to Unlimited Power Written and Published by Truth of Life Introduction The concept of mind over matter has long been a cornerstone in esoteric, occult, and spiritual traditions. This phrase embodies the idea that the mind, when properly harnessed, holds the key to shaping and transforming reality. From the ancient teachings of Hermeticism to the Gnostic traditions and the secret doctrines of the Rosicrucians, the mind is seen as the ultimate tool for transcending physical limitations and accessing higher realms of power and knowledge. In the Hermetic tradition, as encapsulated in the phrase, the all is mind, the universe is mental, the mind is not merely a receiver but a creator of reality. This principle of mentalism teaches us that all things, including the physical universe, are manifestations of a single, universal mind. The Rosicrucians and Gnostics expanded on this by exploring how the mind serves as a bridge between the divine and the material, offering humanity a pathway to higher consciousness and divine wisdom. This book, Mind Over Matter, The Key to Unlimited Power, is a guide for those seeking to unlock the full potential of their mind. By drawing upon the wisdom of ancient traditions and integrating it with practical techniques, this book offers a roadmap to mastering your mind and, by extension, your reality. Whether you are new to these concepts or have been a student of esoteric wisdom for years, this book will deepen your understanding and provide you with tools to apply this knowledge in your daily life. The Esoteric Anatomy of the Mind The human mind is a complex and multifaceted entity that serves as a bridge between the material and spiritual realms. In esoteric traditions, the mind is often described as the ultimate tool for creation, capable of shaping reality through thought and intention. Understanding the anatomy of the mind from an esoteric perspective is crucial for anyone seeking to unlock its full potential and harness its power to influence the world around them. This chapter delves into the nature of the mind, exploring its structure, functions, and its role as the intermediary between the divine and the physical. The mind, as understood in esoteric teachings, is composed of three primary levels, the conscious, the subconscious, and the superconscious. Each of these levels plays a distinct role in the process of creation and manifestation. The conscious mind is the aspect of our consciousness that interacts with the external world. It is responsible for reasoning, decision making, and day to day awareness. However, its power is limited compared to the deeper layers of the mind. The subconscious mind, often referred to as the seat of creativity and intuition, is where our beliefs, memories, and habitual patterns reside. This part of the mind operates beyond the scope of conscious awareness, yet it exerts a profound influence on our behavior and experiences. The superconscious mind, on the other hand, is the highest aspect of consciousness. It is often described as the divine or higher self, the source of intuition, inspiration, and spiritual wisdom. The superconscious mind connects us to the universal mind, the infinite intelligence that underlies all creation. The concept of the mind as a bridge between the spiritual and material worlds is deeply rooted in Hermetic and Rosicrucian teachings. In Hermeticism, the mind is seen as a microcosm of the macrocosm, reflecting the structure of the universe itself. The Hermetic axiom, as above, so below, as within, so without, encapsulates this idea, suggesting that the mind's inner workings are mirrored in the outer world. Similarly, Rosicrucian teachings emphasize the mind's role in transmuting spiritual truths into physical reality. The mind, when properly aligned with divine principles, becomes a powerful tool for manifesting higher spiritual ideals in the material world. One of the key principles that govern the mind's creative power is the idea that thoughts are vibrations. This concept is central to both Rosicrucian and Hermetic teachings, which assert that thoughts possess a vibrational frequency that can influence the energy field around us. When we think, our thoughts generate waves of energy that ripple through the ether, the subtle substance that fills the universe. 
These vibrations interact with other energies and can attract corresponding circumstances, people, and experiences into our lives. This process is often referred to as mental alchemy, the art of transforming thoughts into tangible reality. By consciously directing our thoughts and emotions, we can alter the vibrational frequency of our mental energy, thereby influencing the material world. Understanding the esoteric anatomy of the mind is the first step towards mastering its power. By recognizing the distinct roles of the conscious, subconscious, and superconscious minds, we can begin to work with these levels of consciousness in a deliberate and purposeful way. The conscious mind, while limited in its scope, serves as the gatekeeper to the subconscious. It is through the conscious mind that we can plant seeds of intention and suggestion into the fertile soil of the subconscious, where they take root and grow. The superconscious mind, with its connection to the divine, provides guidance and inspiration, helping us align our intentions with higher spiritual laws. Together, these levels of the mind form a powerful trinity that can be harnessed to create a life of abundance, fulfillment, and spiritual growth. In conclusion, the mind is not merely a passive receiver of thoughts but an active creator of reality. Through the interplay of the conscious, subconscious, and superconscious minds, we have the ability to shape our experiences and manifest our desires. The teachings of Hermetricism and Rosicrucianism provide us with the knowledge and tools to harness this power and use it for our highest good. As we journey through the subsequent chapters, we will explore practical techniques for working with the mind's different levels, enabling us to unlock our full potential and transform our lives. The journey of mastering the mind begins with understanding its esoteric anatomy, a journey that promises to lead us to unlimited power and the realization of our highest aspirations. The Principle of Mentalism The principle of mentalism is the foundational concept in Hermetic philosophy, asserting that, the all is mind, the universe is mental. This axiom, the first of the seven Hermetic principles, posits that the universe and everything within it originates from a singular, infinite consciousness, often referred to as, the All, or the, Divine Mind. This principle suggests that reality, as we perceive it, is a manifestation of the mind and that by understanding and mastering our own mental processes, we can influence and shape the reality we experience. The idea that the universe is mental challenges the materialistic worldview, offering instead a vision of reality where consciousness precedes matter and where thought is the primal force behind creation. Understanding the hermetic principle of mentalism is key to grasping the power of mind over matter. According to this principle, the mind is not just a passive observer but an active participant in the creation of reality. Everything that exists in the material world is a reflection of thought forms that originated in the mental realm. In other words, the physical universe is a projection of the mental universe, and by altering our mental states, we can alter the external world. This concept aligns with modern quantum physics, which suggests that the act of observation can influence the outcome of quantum events, thereby demonstrating that consciousness plays a role in shaping reality. The power of perception plays a crucial role in the principle of mentalism. Perception is the lens through which we interpret and interact with the world. Our beliefs, thoughts, and emotions color our perception, shaping our reality in profound ways. If we perceive the world as a hostile place, filled with scarcity and danger, that perception becomes our reality. Conversely, if we perceive the world as abundant, supportive, and full of opportunities, we will experience a reality that reflects those beliefs. This is not merely wishful thinking. It is the application of mentalism, where the mind's perspective shapes the conditions of life. Gnostic teachings echo this understanding, emphasizing that the world we experience is an illusion or a construct of the mind, which can be transcended by altering our mental states. Practical applications of the principle of mentalism involve exercises that shift perception and alter mental states to influence reality. 
One effective method is visualization, where you create vivid mental images of your desired outcomes. By consistently focusing on these images with belief and emotion, you begin to influence the mental plane, which eventually manifests in the physical world. Another technique is affirmation, where positive statements are repeated to reprogram the subconscious mind, aligning it with the desired reality. Meditation is also a powerful tool for accessing deeper levels of consciousness, where you can plant seeds of intention that will grow into tangible experiences. The principle of mentalism teaches us that we are the architects of our reality. By mastering our thoughts and perceptions, we gain the ability to shape our lives in alignment with our highest aspirations. This principle invites us to take responsibility for our mental states, recognizing that every thought and belief contributes to the tapestry of our existence. As we delve deeper into the teachings of Hermeticism and other esoteric traditions, we will uncover more techniques and insights that will empower us to harness the mind's creative power fully. The journey towards mastering mind over matter begins with embracing the truth that the universe is mental and that our thoughts hold the key to unlocking unlimited power. Unlocking the subconscious. The gateway to infinite potential. The subconscious mind is often referred to as the creative powerhouse within each individual. It is the seat of emotions, habits, memories, and the driving force behind much of our behavior. Unlike the conscious mind, which processes information logically and analytically, the subconscious operates beneath the surface, influencing our actions and reactions based on deeply ingrained patterns. Esoteric traditions and modern psychology alike recognize the profound impact the subconscious mind has on our lives. Neville Goddard, for example, emphasized that the subconscious is the medium through which all manifestations occur. It is where beliefs are stored and, therefore, where reality is shaped. Understanding and mastering the subconscious mind is key to unlocking our infinite potential. Symbols and archetypes play a crucial role in communicating with the subconscious. The language of the subconscious is not linear or verbal. It is symbolic and metaphorical. Carl Jung's work on the collective unconscious highlights how universal symbols, or archetypes, are embedded in the human psyche and influence our behavior and perceptions. These symbols can be powerful tools for reprogramming the subconscious. When we engage with symbols through visualization, dream work, or meditation, we are effectively communicating with the deeper layers of our mind, planting seeds that can grow into new beliefs and realities. Esoteric traditions have long used symbols in rituals and spiritual practices to bypass the conscious mind and speak directly to the subconscious, thereby affecting profound changes in one's life. Programming the subconscious mind requires deliberate and consistent effort. Auto-suggestion is one technique that involves repeating positive affirmations until they are accepted by the subconscious as truth. This method was popularized by Emile Coué and later adopted by figures like Goddard, who believed that affirmations should be spoken with conviction and feeling to influence the subconscious effectively. Dream work is another powerful tool for subconscious reprogramming. By setting intentions before sleep and analyzing dreams upon waking, individuals can uncover hidden fears, desires, and beliefs that shape their waking lives. The use of sacred symbols, such as mandalas or talismans, can also aid in focusing the mind and directing energy toward desired outcomes. These symbols serve as focal points for meditation, helping to align the conscious and subconscious minds with one's goals. To truly unlock the infinite potential of the subconscious, one must cultivate a deep awareness of the mind's workings. This involves observing thoughts and emotions without judgment, recognizing the patterns that arise from the subconscious, and consciously choosing to reprogram those patterns. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation, journaling, and self-reflection are invaluable in this process. By bringing subconscious patterns into conscious awareness, individuals can begin to reshape their inner world and, consequently, their external reality. 
This practice aligns with the teachings of many esoteric traditions, which emphasize self-knowledge as the path to mastery over the self and the environment. The journey to unlocking the subconscious is not just about changing thoughts or behaviors. It is about accessing a deeper level of consciousness where true transformation occurs. The subconscious mind is a gateway to the infinite, where the limitations of the physical world do not apply. By working with this powerful aspect of the mind, individuals can tap into their full potential, manifest their desires, and create a life that aligns with their highest purpose. The next chapters will explore further techniques and principles that build upon this foundation, offering a comprehensive guide to mastering the mind and realizing the limitless possibilities within. The Power of Belief Creating Your Reality Belief is a powerful force that shapes our reality, acting as the blueprint upon which our lives are constructed. In esoteric and occult traditions, as well as in modern psychological practices, belief is understood as the foundation of all manifestations. What we hold to be true in our minds is what ultimately manifests in our physical world. This idea is echoed in the teachings of Neville Goddard, who emphasized that, you are what you believe. According to Goddard, our beliefs determine the experiences we attract into our lives, and by altering these beliefs, we can change the trajectory of our reality. The process of aligning our beliefs with our desires is not just a psychological exercise but a deeply spiritual practice that requires awareness, intention, and consistent effort. Breaking free from limiting beliefs is crucial for anyone seeking to harness the full power of their mind. These limiting beliefs are often deeply ingrained in our subconscious, shaped by past experiences, societal conditioning, and inherited patterns from our family and culture. In Gnostic teachings, these beliefs are seen as illusions created by the material world, a veil that obscures the true nature of reality. To overcome these illusions, one must engage in a process of self-inquiry and reflection questioning the validity of these beliefs and replacing them with new, empowering ones. Techniques such as cognitive restructuring, shadow work, and affirmations are valuable tools in this process, helping to dismantle the mental barriers that keep us from realizing our full potential. Cultivating empowering beliefs is not just about eliminating the negative but also about actively nurturing positive and supportive beliefs that align with our highest potential. This process involves reprogramming the subconscious mind to accept new truths that are in harmony with our desired reality. In esoteric traditions, this is often referred to as spiritual reprogramming, where the mind is trained to focus on higher ideals and divine truths. Visualization, meditation, and the repetition of affirmations are key practices in this process. By consistently reinforcing these new beliefs, we can shift our mental and emotional states, thereby attracting the experiences and outcomes that align with our true desires. The role of faith in this process cannot be overstated. Faith is the fuel that powers our beliefs and propels them into reality. In the teachings of many mystics and occultists, faith is seen as a necessary component of manifestation, bridging the gap between the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown. When we have unwavering faith in the beliefs we hold, we align ourselves with the creative forces of the universe, allowing our desires to materialize with greater ease. This is not blind faith, but a deeply rooted confidence in the power of the mind and its ability to shape reality. Developing this kind of faith requires both practice and patience, as well as a willingness to trust in the process even when immediate results are not evident. In conclusion, the power of belief is a fundamental principle in the art of creating reality. By identifying and dismantling limiting beliefs, cultivating empowering ones, and nurturing unwavering faith, we can harness the full potential of our minds to manifest our deepest desires. This process is not merely about positive thinking but involves a profound transformation of consciousness where the mind becomes a tool for accessing higher dimensions of reality. 
The journey of belief is one of continual growth and evolution, as we learn to align our inner world with the vast possibilities that the universe holds. As we move forward, the next chapters will delve deeper into the practical applications of these principles, offering more tools and techniques for mastering the mind and unlocking its unlimited power. Thought Forms and Egregores The Invisible Architects of Reality Thought forms are an integral concept in esoteric and occult teachings, representing the notion that our thoughts are not merely abstract or fleeting but have a tangible existence in the subtle realms. In esoteric traditions, particularly within the teachings of Theosophy, Rosicrucianism, and other mystical schools, thought forms are understood as mental constructs that, when focused upon repeatedly, take on a life of their own in the astral plane. These thought forms can influence not only the individual who created them but also the external environment, shaping reality in profound ways. The process of creating a thought form begins with a single thought, which, if given enough emotional energy and mental focus, coalesces into a distinct entity with its own vibratory frequency. Egregores are a more complex and collective manifestation of thought forms. They are generated by groups of people sharing a common belief or intention. An egregore is essentially a collective thought form that gains strength and influence through the combined focus of the group. Historically, egregores have been associated with the formation of religious movements, social groups, and even nations. These collective entities can wield significant power, influencing the thoughts, behaviors, and experiences of those within the group. Egregores can be both beneficial and detrimental, depending on the nature of the thoughts and emotions that fuel them. For instance, a positive egregore might be formed by a group dedicated to spiritual growth, while a negative one could arise from a collective focus on fear or hatred. Understanding the mechanics of thought forms and egregores allows us to take conscious control over the mental forces that shape our reality. By recognizing that our thoughts are not merely passive experiences but active creators, we can begin to direct this creative power with intention. This involves cultivating awareness of the thoughts we generate daily and understanding how these thoughts might be contributing to the formation of our reality. Practices such as meditation, visualization, and mental discipline are essential tools in this process. They help us to focus our mental energy on creating positive, empowering thought forms that align with our highest goals and aspirations. However, the power of thought forms and egregores also necessitates a need for discernment and mental hygiene. Negative or harmful thought forms can be created unconsciously, often as a result of habitual negative thinking or exposure to collective negativity. These entities can drain energy, create obstacles, and perpetuate undesirable circumstances. Therefore, it is crucial to engage in regular mental cleansing practices, such as visualization techniques where one dissolves or transforms unwanted thought forms. Additionally, setting protective boundaries around one's mental space, using techniques like shielding or invoking spiritual guidance, can prevent the infiltration of external negative egregores. In harnessing thought forms for personal power, one must approach the process with both reverence and responsibility. The creation of thought forms is a form of mental magic that requires clear intention, ethical considerations, and an understanding of the broader impact on oneself and others. When done consciously, the creation and direction of thought forms can lead to significant personal growth, the achievement of goals, and the manifestation of desired realities. However, this power must be wielded wisely, ensuring that the thought forms we create serve the greater good and contribute to the upliftment of ourselves and the world around us. The Alchemy of the Mind Transmuting Negative Energy into Power The concept of alchemy, often associated with the transformation of base metals into gold, serves as a powerful metaphor for the mental and spiritual processes of transformation in esoteric traditions. Mental alchemy refers to the ability to transmute negative thoughts, emotions, and energies into positive, empowering forces. 
This process is rooted in Hermetic teachings, particularly the principle of polarity, which states that opposites are merely different degrees of the same thing. By understanding and applying this principle, one can learn to transform lower vibrational states, such as fear, anger, or doubt, into higher states like love, peace, and confidence. In the practice of mental alchemy, the first step is recognizing the nature of the negative energy you wish to transform. This requires a deep level of self-awareness, often achieved through meditation, reflection, or journaling. By identifying the root causes of negative emotions or limiting beliefs, you can begin the process of mental transmutation. For instance, fear can be understood as a distorted form of caution, and by adjusting your perception, you can transform fear into prudent action. Similarly, anger can be seen as an expression of unmet needs or desires, which can be redirected into constructive energy to achieve your goals. One of the most effective tools for mental alchemy is the practice of gratitude. Gratitude has the power to shift your focus from what is lacking or negative in your life to what is abundant and positive. This shift in focus changes your vibrational state, aligning you with higher frequencies that attract more positive experiences. Practicing gratitude can be as simple as keeping a daily journal where you list things you are grateful for or consciously expressing thanks throughout your day. This practice not only transforms your internal state but also influences the external circumstances of your life, as it aligns you with the law of attraction. Forgiveness is another critical component of mental alchemy. Holding onto grudges or resentment keeps you tethered to negative energy, which can manifest as physical, emotional, or spiritual blockages. By choosing to forgive, whether it's others or yourself, you release this energy, freeing yourself from the past and creating space for healing and positive growth. Forgiveness does not mean condoning harmful behavior, but rather, it is a way of reclaiming your power and refusing to let past experiences dictate your present and future. In many esoteric traditions, forgiveness is seen as a cleansing ritual for the soul, purifying the mind and heart and allowing the individual to ascend to higher levels of consciousness. Creating a positive mental atmosphere is essential for sustaining the benefits of mental alchemy. This involves cultivating habits that reinforce positive thinking and emotional resilience. Surrounding yourself with uplifting influences, whether it be people, environments, or media, can significantly impact your mental state. Additionally, regular spiritual practices such as meditation, prayer, or affirmations help to maintain a high vibrational frequency, ensuring that your mental and emotional energy remains aligned with your highest goals. Mental purification rituals, such as smudging, sound healing, or energy clearing, can also be used to remove any residual negativity from your mental space, allowing for continuous growth and empowerment. The Art of Visualization Crafting Your Desired Reality Visualization is both an art and a science, a profound technique that bridges the gap between the mind's imagination and the material world. This process, deeply rooted in esoteric traditions, is often considered a cornerstone of manifestation practices. Visualization involves creating vivid mental images of desired outcomes, which in turn influence the subconscious mind and the universal energy field to bring those outcomes into reality. This chapter delves into the principles and practices of visualization drawing on ancient teachings and modern psychological insights to guide you in crafting your desired reality. At the core of effective visualization lies the principle that the mind cannot distinguish between a vividly imagined experience and a real one. This concept is supported by both ancient wisdom and contemporary neuroscience. Esoteric traditions, such as those practiced by Rosicrucians and Hermetricists, teach that visualization is a form of mental alchemy, where thoughts and images are transmuted into physical reality. The brain's neural pathways respond to mental imagery as they would to actual events, reinforcing the belief that what you visualize with clarity and emotional intensity has the potential to manifest in the physical world. 
By repeatedly visualizing your goals as already achieved, you program your subconscious mind to accept these images as reality, thus setting the stage for their materialization. The effectiveness of visualization is enhanced when it engages all the senses, not just sight. This multisensory approach, often referred to as sensory rich visualization, involves imagining not only the visual aspects of your desired outcome but also the sounds, smells, tastes, and tactile sensations associated with it. For example, if you are visualizing a successful public speaking event, you might imagine the feel of the microphone in your hand, the sound of the audience's applause, the sight of smiling faces, and even the smell of the auditorium. This immersive experience makes the visualization more realistic and powerful, embedding it deeper into the subconscious mind and aligning your energy with the frequency of your desired reality. Overcoming common obstacles in visualization is crucial for success. Doubt, lack of focus, and negative mental patterns are frequent challenges that can weaken the effectiveness of your visualizations. Doubt can be particularly detrimental, as it introduces conflicting signals into the mental and energetic fields, undermining the power of your intentions. To counteract these challenges, it is essential to practice mental discipline, ensuring that your focus remains unwavering and your visualizations are consistent. Techniques such as affirmations, meditation, and mindfulness can help clear the mind of distractions and reinforce positive mental patterns, making your visualizations more potent and effective. Visualization is not just a passive mental exercise but an active process of creation that involves the mind, emotions, and spirit. The emotional engagement in visualization is particularly important, as emotions are the energetic fuel that powers the manifestation process. When you visualize with strong emotions, such as joy, gratitude, or love, you amplify the vibrational frequency of your intentions, making them more attractive to the universal energy field. This emotional resonance is what transforms a simple mental image into a dynamic creative force capable of bringing about significant changes in your reality. To master the art of visualization, it is essential to practice regularly and with intention. Daily visualization sessions, preferably during times when the mind is most receptive, such as just before sleep or upon waking, can significantly enhance the effectiveness of this practice. Consistency is key, as it reinforces the desired images in your subconscious mind, gradually aligning your thoughts, beliefs, and actions with your goals. Additionally, combining visualization with other esoteric practices, such as ritual, meditation, or the use of symbols and talismans, can further amplify its power, creating a synergistic effect that accelerates the manifestation process. Harnessing the Law of Attraction The Magnetism of the Mind The Law of Attraction a concept rooted in both ancient esoteric traditions and modern self-help philosophy, asserts that like attracts like. This principle suggests that the thoughts, emotions, and beliefs you consistently hold act as magnets, drawing corresponding experiences and realities into your life. While the modern popularization of the law of attraction can be traced to figures like Napoleon Hill and Rhonda Byrne, its origins are deeply embedded in hermetic teachings and Gnostic traditions, which have long espoused the idea that the mind is a powerful force capable of shaping reality. At the heart of the law of attraction is the belief that the universe operates on vibrational frequencies, and everything in existence, from physical objects to thoughts and emotions, vibrates at a certain frequency. This idea is closely aligned with the hermetic principle of vibration, which states that, nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. According to this principle, your thoughts and emotions emit a specific frequency, and the universe responds to these vibrations by bringing into your life experiences that match your dominant frequency. In other words, if you focus on positive thoughts and feelings, you will attract positive experiences, whereas negative thoughts and emotions will attract negative outcomes. Aligning your thoughts with your desires is a crucial step in activating the law of attraction. 
This process begins with clarity of intention, which involves being specific about what you want to manifest and ensuring that your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions are in harmony with your desired outcome. It's not enough to simply wish for something. You must believe that it is possible and feel as if it has already been achieved. This alignment of thought and emotion creates a powerful vibrational frequency that resonates with the universal energy field, drawing your desired reality closer to you. Esoteric teachings emphasize the importance of maintaining a positive mental environment, free from doubt and negativity, to ensure that your intentions are not contradicted by conflicting thoughts. Practical exercises for harnessing the law of attraction include techniques such as vision boards, scripting, and affirmations. Vision boards involve creating a visual representation of your goals, using images and words that evoke the feelings associated with your desired outcome. This visual tool serves as a daily reminder of your intentions, helping to keep your focus and emotions aligned with your goals. Scripting is another powerful technique, where you write a detailed narrative of your life as if your desires have already been fulfilled. This exercise not only reinforces your belief in the possibility of achieving your goals but also helps to clarify the specifics of what you want to manifest. Affirmations, or positive statements repeated regularly, help to reprogram the subconscious mind, replacing limiting beliefs with empowering ones that support your desired reality. One of the key elements of the law of attraction is the importance of detachment and trust in the manifestation process. While it is essential to focus on your desires and maintain a positive mental attitude, it is equally important to release any attachment to the outcome. This means trusting that the universe will bring your desires into reality in the best possible way and at the right time, without trying to control how or when it will happen. Detachment allows you to remain open to the infinite possibilities of the universe, rather than limiting yourself to a specific outcome or timeline. This concept is often misunderstood, as it does not mean giving up on your goals, but rather releasing the need for them to manifest in a certain way, thus allowing the universe to work its magic. The law of attraction is not just about attracting material wealth or success. It is also a spiritual practice that involves aligning your thoughts, emotions, and actions with your highest self. This alignment not only helps to manifest your desires but also brings you closer to your true purpose and the realization of your divine potential. In this sense, the law of attraction is a tool for spiritual growth and self-realization, helping you to create a life that is not only successful but also deeply fulfilling and aligned with your soul's highest aspirations. The Power of Words The Creative Force of the Logos Words hold immense power, a truth that has been recognized and revered across spiritual and esoteric traditions for millennia. In the esoteric context, words are not merely sounds or symbols, they are vibrational forces that shape reality. This concept is closely tied to the ancient understanding of the Logos, a term that originated in Greek philosophy and was later adopted by various mystical traditions to represent the divine word or creative principle of the universe. The Logos is seen as the ultimate source of creation, the spoken or unspoken word through which all things come into being. This chapter explores the profound influence of words on both the material and spiritual planes, drawing from Hermetic, Gnostic, and Rosicrucian teachings to illuminate the creative power inherent in language. The esoteric principle that words are vibrations of creation is deeply rooted in the idea that the universe is fundamentally composed of energy and that everything within it vibrates at different frequencies. This notion is aligned with the hermetic principle of vibration, which asserts that nothing is static, everything is in constant motion, vibrating at its own unique frequency. Words, when spoken or thought, emit vibrational frequencies that interact with the surrounding energy field, influencing the physical and metaphysical realms. In Gnostic teachings, the Logos is considered the divine emanation that bridges the gap between the spiritual and material worlds, transforming divine thought into tangible reality. Thus, 
Every word spoken or thought carries with it the potential to create, destroy, or transform the fabric of existence. Affirmations and declarations are practical tools that harness the creative power of words to shape reality. An affirmation is a positive statement that affirms a desired reality, spoken with conviction and repeated regularly to imprint it upon the subconscious mind. The esoteric understanding of affirmations goes beyond mere positive thinking. It recognizes that repeated words or phrases, when charged with emotion and belief, can alter the vibrational state of the speaker and the surrounding environment. This practice is closely linked to the Rosicrucian tradition, where the use of specific words and phrases is believed to unlock higher states of consciousness and align the individual with the divine will. To maximize their effectiveness, affirmations should be carefully crafted to resonate with the desired outcome, using present tense language and incorporating sensory details to engage the mind fully. The hidden power of sound is another critical aspect of the creative force of words. Sound as a vibrational phenomenon, has the ability to influence both the physical and spiritual dimensions of reality. Various esoteric traditions, including those of the Rosicrucians and ancient Egyptians, have long recognized the significance of sacred sounds, mantras, and chants in spiritual practice. These sounds are believed to carry specific frequencies that can heal, protect, or enhance the practitioner's spiritual energy. For instance, the repetition of sacred names or words, known as mantras in Eastern traditions, is used to attune the mind and body to higher frequencies, facilitating spiritual growth and transformation. In the Gnostic tradition, the sacred word AUM, or OM, is considered the primordial sound of creation, embodying the essence of the divine logos. The creative potential of words also extends to the realm of magic and ritual, where spoken incantations and written symbols are used to manifest intentions and influence outcomes. This practice, known as logomancy, is based on the belief that words, when spoken with focused intent and accompanied by ritual, can command the forces of nature and the spiritual world. The Rosicrucians, for example, use invocations and sacred texts in their rituals to connect with higher spiritual beings and to direct the flow of energy in alignment with their spiritual goals. The power of these rituals lies not only in the words themselves but also in the practitioner's ability to imbue them with concentrated will and emotional intensity, thereby amplifying their vibrational impact. In conclusion, the power of words is a fundamental principle in esoteric and spiritual teachings, reflecting the belief that language is a divine tool for creation. Whether through affirmations, sacred sounds, or ritual incantations, words have the potential to shape reality in profound ways. By understanding and harnessing the creative force of the Logos, individuals can align their thoughts and speech with their highest intentions bringing their desires into manifestation and transforming their lives in accordance with the divine will. Words, when used consciously and with purpose, become a bridge between the spiritual and material worlds, allowing the practitioner to participate in the ongoing act of creation. Tapping into the superconscious. Accessing divine wisdom. The concept of the superconscious mind occupies a central place in many esoteric and spiritual traditions. This higher level of consciousness is often described as the gateway to divine wisdom, where one can access knowledge that transcends the ordinary workings of the conscious and subconscious minds. The superconscious is not merely an extension of the subconscious, it represents a state of awareness that is in direct communion with the divine, the source of all creation. In this chapter, we explore how various esoteric teachings from Gnosticism, Hermeticism, and Rosicrucianism describe the superconscious mind and provide practical methods for accessing this higher state of being. The superconscious mind is often portrayed as the bridge between the human mind and the divine mind, a conduit through which higher wisdom flows. According to Hermetic philosophy, the superconscious is akin to the higher self, a divine spark within each individual that remains connected to the source of all wisdom and power. 
This aspect of consciousness is where intuitive insights, spiritual revelations, and profound understanding emerge, often in ways that transcend logical reasoning. The Rosicrucians, for instance, teach that the superconscious mind is the realm where the soul communicates directly with the divine, receiving guidance and inspiration that can be brought down into the material world. One of the most effective ways to access the superconscious mind is through meditation and contemplation. These practices quiet the lower, chattering mind and allow the individual to tune into the subtler frequencies of the superconscious. Meditation, especially when combined with deep breathing and visualization, helps to still the conscious mind, making it easier to perceive the insights and wisdom that flow from the higher planes of consciousness. Advanced practices such as scrying, channeling, and automatic writing are also used by those well-versed in esoteric traditions to tap into the superconscious. These methods often require a disciplined mind and a deep sense of trust in the divine process, as they involve surrendering the ego to allow higher wisdom to come through. Living in alignment with the superconscious mind brings about a profound shift in one's life. When guided by this higher wisdom, decisions are made with greater clarity, purpose, and synchronicity. The superconscious mind provides a compass that is always oriented towards the highest good, both for the individual and for the collective. This alignment often results in a life that feels more harmonious and in flow, where the right opportunities, people, and resources seem to manifest effortlessly. The key to maintaining this alignment lies in regular spiritual practice, including meditation, prayer, and mindfulness, which keeps the connection to the superconscious mind strong and clear. A crucial aspect of tapping into the superconscious is the cultivation of faith and surrender. Faith, in this context, is not blind belief but a deep knowing that the universe is intelligent, benevolent, and responsive to our highest aspirations. Surrender, on the other hand, involves letting go of the need to control outcomes and trusting that the superconscious mind will guide us in the right direction. This combination of faith and surrender creates the perfect environment for the superconscious to operate, allowing us to access wisdom that might otherwise be blocked by fear, doubt, or egoic desires. In conclusion, the superconscious mind is a powerful resource that connects us to the divine wisdom of the universe. By accessing this higher level of consciousness, we can gain insights, guidance, and inspiration that transcend the limitations of the ordinary mind. Through practices such as meditation, contemplation, and surrender, we can strengthen our connection to the superconscious and live in alignment with our highest potential. This chapter invites readers to explore the depths of their own superconscious mind, to tap into the infinite wisdom that resides there, and to bring that wisdom into their daily lives for greater clarity, purpose, and fulfillment. Overcoming Mental Barriers Breaking the Chains of Limitation The human mind, when left untrained, is often subject to numerous barriers, fears, doubts, and limiting beliefs that have the power to hold us back from achieving our fullest potential. In esoteric traditions, these mental barriers are often referred to as illusions that distort our perception of reality and hinder our spiritual growth. According to teachings from various esoteric and Gnostic traditions, these barriers are not merely psychological, they are energetic constructs that have formed through years of conditioning both from personal experiences and societal influences. Overcoming these barriers is essential for anyone seeking to harness the full power of their mind and break free from the limitations that have been imposed upon them. The first step in overcoming these barriers is to identify them. This process requires deep introspection and an honest assessment of one's thoughts and beliefs. In esoteric philosophy, this is often likened to the practice of shadow work, where individuals confront the darker aspects of their psyche that they have suppressed or denied. These shadows are the fears and doubts that lie beneath the surface of our conscious awareness, subtly influencing our decisions and actions. By bringing these shadows into the light of consciousness, 
we can begin the process of dissolving them. Esoteric traditions often employ specific techniques such as journaling, meditation, and ritualistic practices to assist in this uncovering process. These methods help to create a space where one can safely explore and confront their mental barriers. Once these barriers have been identified, the next step is to dissolve them. This is where the teachings of mental alchemy come into play. Mental alchemy, as taught in Hermeticism and other esoteric traditions, is the process of transforming negative thoughts and emotions into positive, empowering energies. This transmutation is not merely about suppressing negative thoughts but actively transforming them into something beneficial. For example, fear can be transformed into courage, and doubt can be transmuted into faith. This process requires conscious effort and the application of specific techniques such as visualization, affirmation, and energy work. These practices help to reprogram the subconscious mind, replacing limiting beliefs with empowering ones. Another powerful tool for overcoming mental barriers is the practice of cognitive restructuring. This technique, which is also rooted in modern psychology, involves changing the way we perceive and interpret our experiences. In esoteric teachings, this is akin to changing the narrative we tell ourselves. By altering our internal dialogue, we can shift our perception of reality and, in turn, change our external circumstances. This practice requires discipline and mindfulness, as it involves catching negative thoughts as they arise and consciously choosing to reframe them in a more positive light. Over time, this new way of thinking becomes ingrained in the subconscious, leading to profound changes in one's life. Faith plays a crucial role in breaking through mental barriers. In many esoteric traditions, faith is considered a powerful force that can transcend the limitations of the material world. This is not merely faith in a religious sense but a deep, unshakable belief in one's ability to overcome obstacles and achieve their goals. This kind of faith is cultivated through spiritual practice, such as meditation, prayer, and the study of sacred texts. It is also strengthened through personal experience, each time we successfully overcome a challenge, our faith in our own abilities grows stronger. Esoteric teachings often emphasize the importance of maintaining this faith, even in the face of adversity, as it is the key to unlocking the mind's full potential. The Esoteric Art of Manifestation Bringing the Invisible into the Visible Manifestation, in its deepest essence, is the act of bringing what is unseen into the realm of the visible. This concept is rooted deeply in esoteric traditions, which have long understood that the mind and spirit are the ultimate tools for shaping reality. In esoteric teachings, the process of manifestation is not just a physical act but a spiritual one, where the mind's power, when aligned with higher principles, can turn thoughts into tangible realities. This chapter delves into the intricate processes that esoteric traditions have passed down through generations, emphasizing the importance of mental discipline, spiritual alignment, and the application of ancient wisdom. In many esoteric traditions, such as those of the Rosicrucians and Hermeticists, Manifestation is viewed as a process of aligning one's mind with the divine will or universal laws. The hermetic principle of correspondence, as above, so below, is central to this idea. It suggests that what is true on the spiritual plane is reflected in the material world. Therefore, to manifest something on earth, one must first understand and align with the higher spiritual principles governing that desire. This alignment is not a passive act but an active, deliberate process of mental and spiritual tuning. The mind, when focused with intention and clarity, acts as a conduit through which the divine energies flow, bringing the desired outcome into reality. The process of manifestation begins with intention. In esoteric traditions, intention is not merely a wish or hope. It is a focused, energized thought that sets the creative forces in motion. According to Gnostic and Hermetic teachings, the mind's intention must be clear, unwavering, 
and aligned with the greater good to effectively manifest. This is why many esoteric practices include rituals, meditations, and affirmations. These are tools to sharpen and direct the mind's intention. The act of setting an intention is akin to planting a seed in the fertile ground of the subconscious mind, where it can grow and eventually manifest in the physical world. After setting a clear intention, the next crucial step in the manifestation process is visualization. Visualization is more than just seeing images in the mind's eye, it is about creating a vivid, multisensory experience of the desired outcome. In esoteric practices, visualization is often accompanied by emotions and sensations that match the reality one wishes to create. For instance, if one is visualizing abundance, they might not only see themselves surrounded by wealth but also feel the emotions of security, joy, and gratitude that come with it. This emotional engagement amplifies the creative power of the visualization, making it a potent tool for manifestation. Rituals and symbols play a significant role in the esoteric art of manifestation. Throughout history, Esoteric traditions have used rituals as a way to engage both the conscious and subconscious minds in the manifestation process. These rituals often involve the use of sacred symbols, which are believed to hold powerful energetic resonances. For example, in Rosicrucian practices, the use of certain geometric shapes, such as the pentagram or hexagram, is believed to align the practitioner with specific universal forces. By incorporating these symbols into rituals, the practitioner not only focuses their intention but also taps into the collective energy that these symbols represent, thus enhancing the manifestation process. Lastly, the role of faith and surrender cannot be overstated in the manifestation process. According to esoteric teachings, once an intention has been set, visualized, and energized through rituals, one must then release it into the universe with full faith that it will manifest. This step requires letting go of attachment to the outcome and trusting in the divine timing and wisdom. This act of surrender is not about giving up but rather about acknowledging that the universe often works in ways that are beyond human understanding. By surrendering, the practitioner allows the divine forces to work through them bringing the manifestation to fruition in the most perfect and harmonious way. In conclusion, the esoteric art of manifestation is a sophisticated process that requires a deep understanding of the interplay between mind, spirit, and matter. It is an art that calls for mental discipline, spiritual alignment, and a deep trust in the universal laws. Through the practices of intention setting, visualization, ritual, and surrender, one can harness the ancient wisdom of manifestation to bring the invisible into the visible, transforming thoughts into reality. Living a life of power. The mastery of mind over matter. The mastery of mind over matter is not simply an abstract concept reserved for sages or mystics. It is a practical, tangible approach to life that can be achieved through disciplined practice and profound self-awareness. Living a life of power begins with the recognition that the mind is the most potent tool at your disposal. This realization is the cornerstone of all spiritual and esoteric teachings, from the ancient hermetic principles to the modern interpretations of quantum consciousness. By understanding and harnessing the mind's innate capabilities, you open the door to a life where your thoughts, beliefs, and intentions directly shape your reality. This is not a process that occurs overnight, it is a journey that requires continuous learning, persistent effort, and unwavering dedication to personal growth and spiritual alignment. To live a life of power, one must integrate the principles of mind over matter into every aspect of daily existence. This integration is not about adopting a set of rigid rules or practices, but rather about cultivating a mindset that is constantly aware of the mind's influence over the physical world. Every thought, emotion, and action must be aligned with the understanding that you are the creator of your reality. This requires a deep sense of responsibility and a commitment to maintaining a high level of mental discipline. 
By consistently applying the techniques and insights discussed throughout this book, such as visualization, affirmation, and meditation, you begin to develop a mental environment that is conducive to manifesting your desires and achieving your goals. The key is consistency. The mind, like any other muscle, strengthens with regular use and conscious effort. Another crucial aspect of living a life of power is aligning your actions with a higher purpose. True mastery of mind over matter is not about wielding power for personal gain alone, but about using your abilities to contribute to the greater good. This is where the concept of service comes into play. The esoteric traditions emphasize the importance of service to others as a means of aligning with the divine will and accessing higher levels of consciousness. By dedicating your actions to a purpose greater than yourself, you tap into an infinite source of energy and wisdom that guides your decisions and amplifies your power. This alignment with a higher purpose also ensures that your actions are in harmony with universal laws, leading to greater success and fulfillment in all areas of life. The journey towards mastering mind over matter is ultimately a path towards union with the divine mind. This union is the ultimate goal of all esoteric and spiritual practices, a state of being where the individual consciousness merges with the universal consciousness, transcending the limitations of the material world. In this state, the mind becomes a direct channel for divine intelligence, allowing you to access knowledge, creativity, and power that are beyond the reach of ordinary perception. Achieving this level of mastery requires a deep commitment to spiritual practices, such as meditation, contemplation, and prayer, as well as a willingness to let go of the ego and surrender to the higher self. It is a journey that demands patience, perseverance, and a profound trust in the process. Living a life of power through the mastery of mind over matter is a lifelong pursuit that involves continuous self-discovery, disciplined practice, and alignment with a higher purpose. By embracing the teachings and techniques outlined in this book, you can unlock the infinite potential of your mind and create a reality that reflects your highest aspirations. The path may be challenging, but the rewards are immeasurable. Greater wisdom, peace, and the fulfillment of your true purpose in this life and beyond. The journey is yours to undertake, and the time to begin is now. As we reach the conclusion of this journey into the infinite potential of the mind, it's essential to reflect on the key insights we've uncovered. Throughout this book, we have explored the profound power of the mind, diving into esoteric teachings, ancient wisdom, and modern techniques that demonstrate the mind's capacity to shape and influence reality. From understanding the mind's anatomy as a bridge between the spiritual and material worlds to mastering the principles of mentalism and unlocking the subconscious, we've seen how the mind serves as the ultimate tool for creation and transformation. This journey has taken us through the alchemy of thought, the art of visualization, and the harnessing of the law of attraction. We've delved into the power of words as creative forces, explored the superconscious as a gateway to divine wisdom, and learned how to overcome mental barriers that limit our potential. Each chapter has been a step toward understanding how the mind, when mastered, can be used to manifest our deepest desires and align with the divine purpose. As we continue to grow and evolve, it is crucial to remember that the journey of mastering the mind is ongoing. The principles and techniques discussed in this book are not just tools to be used once but practices to be integrated into daily life. The mind's potential is boundless, and the more we explore and refine our understanding, the more we unlock new levels of consciousness and power. For those who wish to deepen their understanding, further study in esoteric and occult traditions can provide additional insights and practices to enhance mental mastery. The time to apply these teachings is now. The mind holds the key to unlimited power, and by harnessing this power, we can transform our lives and the world around us. This book serves as a guide, but the real work begins with your commitment to practice and growth. As you continue on this path, remember that you are the creator of your reality, 
and the mind is your most powerful tool in this creation. Embrace the journey, trust in your potential, and let the mind lead you to a life of fulfillment, purpose, and unlimited possibilities.